Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today video is going to be a statistic videos of how the silver materials, but also skill gem that I managed to gather over the past months by farming one of the low level few challenge modes, which is Escancio Village. Now I run this map at least 30 times a day for the past 30 days. So you could say that I run the village maps at least 900 times for the past 30 days. I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but I did not do anything special in the channel most other than just sitting around and letting my sister do all the work. So shout out to all my four tantalizer for giving all my character a free ride for the past 30 days. Anyway, if you are interested in the strategy that I use to farm the low low fuel channel most, I recommend checking out my silver guide videos, which will be available in the video description below. Now, there are a few items that you can get for this match, which include three different skill gems, such as double attack, speed lunge, and frenzy skill gem. And these are the most common skill gems that you can find on the market. Next, we have Shining Gem Level 2 Abrasive, Great Golem's Core, Hook, Zolub Cores, Scarlet Shields, and many different types of recipe. I also got a good amount of nuclear and zero powders per runs along with small amounts of mercenary batches as well. One thing I do want to point out in this video is that you guys won't be able to see how much basic materials that I gathered for the past 30 days because the team storage does not allow me to store more than 32,000 units of the basic material. So I went ahead and sell all of them to the merchant NPC. PC. However, I got at least 6,000 core per character. So if you take that numbers and multiply by 30, which come out around 180,000 basic core materials that are found for the past 30 days. Anyway, here is the results of 30 days worth of farming the few version of the channel modes. I got around 357 skill gems, which I can use it for the skill gem combination system in the future update. I can also sell the skill gem between 500,000 silver up to 1 million silver per skill gem on the market. This will give me around between 150 million silver up to 300 million silver in total after the market tax. As for the silver, I managed to gather around 31 million silver worth of the equipment and items by selling all of them to the merchant APC in town. This will set us around 1 million silver per character. However, I still have not sold the extra recipe items that I collect from 30 different characters. But even after the sale, the number would only jump from 31 million silver up to 42 million silver. The amount of raw silver is still pretty decent in my opinion, but it could have been better based on the map that I farm. Next up, we have nuclear and cereal powders. I managed to collect around 400,000 or more for both nuclear and cereal powder, which is not bad in my opinions because if I sell the nuclear powder at the price of 120 silver each, that will get me around 51 million silver before taxes, and 360 silver each for cereal powder will get me around 149 million silver before taxes. Both of the powder will get me around 180 million silver in total profit after 10% market tax. The funniest part about the few version of the channel modes is that player can also get the assisted term and single selected album. So I managed to gather over 1,500 assisted album and term. I did not want to waste time to opening the single selected album in this video, so I set it back into the team storage for the future. I also managed to get over 959 blood shard, which is the biggest part in this video because I spent around 30 up to 40 channel mode scroll, which usually cost me 120 up to 160 blood shard to purchase or trade between players. The return of 959 blood shard is a huge profit for me because I get around 8x amount of return rate of the blood shard. The last one is Ray Portal Stone Recipe. Each recipe go around 120,000 silver each. So if I sell the whole stack of 389 Ray Portal Stone Recipe, I will get around 46 million silver before taxes and 42 million silver after 10% taxes. However, the price may change in the future because IMC decided to delete the Legend Ray Stone. So the usage of the Ray Portal Stone may be a little bit higher. So it could push the price even higher than 120,000 silver each. Anyway, that is all for this video. Today's video is a little bit short because I want to give you guys an update on farming the few version of the channel modes, but also give you guys the overall statistic. Additionally, I already plan out farming the next channel modes match, which is the residence of the Falling Lake Wing family. This map drop up to four different skill gems, which includes Sachi of the Goddess Asherang, Shield Bass, Summon Familiars, and Poison Pot skill gems, along with a bunch of goodies, equipment, and recipe that I can sell the items for 4,000 silvers or more. This map is pretty good by the way compared to other maps because there is a goddess statue right next to my character so I can always use it to teleport in and out at any tab that I want. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.